¡Alto! Deténgase, señor. So, another one, huh? Another what? Another Americano. Got hunting on Spanish territory. Well, this is not Spanish territory. This is a Virginia Grant. It's American. Oigan como miente. You have no right to be here. So, I declare you under arrest, a prisoner of Spain. You will be the guest of our gentle and gracious King Charles. Are you sure you've got the right fellow? You are a prisoner, senor, or dead. Which? Prisoner. Bueno, ahora amárenlo. Vámonos. Himself captured. Now, if Captain Billy Carver has been killed, let's hope Boone can get the job done alone. you in that car. He was stupid enough to try to escape. Do not be so stupid. There is no possible escape. Over here. Your new home, Fort New Madrid, where you will be privileged to work for the greater glory of your King Charles and Spain. Sargento, Sargento Ramirez, as you this capital. Son las tres esta vez. Son todas tres. Sí, capitán. First, I will answer the question in your mind. You're caught hunting illegally on Spanish territory. This ain't Spanish. It's American. We are here to protect Spain's rightful claim to this territory. That is why we are building this fort. When it is finished, it will be occupied by Spanish troops from New Orleans then there will be no question as to who this territory is. I tell you this so you will understand why it is important for you to work hard and to build quickly. Do as you are told, and you will eat and avoid punishment. You will sleep in that tent at night. From sunup to sundown, you will quarry stone, you will cut trees, you will haul and load and build. Listen, you ain't got no right. We're free of America. Se quedará callado ahora, señor. You will see guards all around you. At sundown, there is a curfew. Any prisoner caught outside of the barracks after dark will be shot on sight. Ahora, llévalos a su tienda. Sí, Capitán. Move.
More fellow prisoners of merciful Spain. Zeb Brand. Howdy. I'm Billy Carver. He's Hugo Doffer. Where are you from, mister? Kentuck. What's your name? Daniel. That's all? Ain't you got no anchor to that? Jimson. How long you been in here? Uh, about a month now, I reckon. For me, it's been three weeks. Just like you. Otto! about your brother? I said a prayer for him. 18. Just 18 years old. That was his brother he was burying? Hugo is the only one here with a regular job. He's a stonemason. The rest of us do everything else. Anybody else get shot trying to escape? Look, we don't talk about that. You shouldn't have tried. Nobody should try. They treat us good here. They treat you good. Keep you locked in prison, working you like slaves. Mister. What are you going to do about it? What's the matter with them? They don't want to get no trouble listening to you, to what you're saying. There's an informer in this tent. We don't know who he is, but he's quick. He's quick and sharp as a rattlesnake. here less than one day, hardly one night, and already you are agitating, inflaming the men. We will teach you to hold your tongue. Sarento. Three. Three. Four. Five. Just a taste of the rest, senor. You! Untie him. Take him back to the tent. They didn't know whether you were alive or dead or what had happened. Okay, watch it now. It was a piece of luck they chose you to drag me in here. Uh, all right. This lard's gonna help. I'm sure you know by now that this fort's gonna be finished soon. And the Spanish troops will be up here from New Orleans. What's happened to the Virginia militia? 
they won't have a force they can spare for at least a month. Mm -hmm. By that time, the Spanish will be here and established. Then we'll just have to do it ourselves, Billy. I haven't been able to do anything alone. You see how we've been guarded. How many men do they have in their force? Thirteen men and Captain Miro. But with their guns, they might as well be a hundred. Well, you know our mission, to destroy the fort or to take it. It's easy to say. We just have to buy time. How? By any means it comes to hand. Of course, we'll need all the help we can get from our fellow prisoners. We can't count on them. The informer? Yeah, whoever he is, he has them scared stiff. He has a way of getting word to the Spanish the moment one of us even thinks rebellion. You saw what happened to you. And the first thing we'll have to do is find that informer. Don't you think we've tried? Don't you have any idea who he is or how he does it? I suspect everyone. But I haven't got a good reason to suspect anyone. Well, that sort of ties our hands, doesn't it? For the moment, we're going to have to keep working for the greater glory of Spain. should be proud, senores, to help build such a fortress for King Charles and for the honor of Spain. You should be pleased for the chance to work. These stones, which are unfit for the walls of this building, you will transport for the construction of our well. Alvarez, este, y estos dos, you will work the rock quarry today. Pronto. You. Unload. I warned you about that. I informed her, didn't I? Quicker as a rattlesnake. Quicker. That's why you've got to keep your mouth shut. Anybody called outside the tent shot? Yeah, that's right. Nobody left our tent last night yet. The captain knew everything I said. That's the way it always happens. How? That, mister, is something we'd all like to know. Water. Only had meat once since I've been here. Mm. That wasn't meat, that was buckskin. Something just two men can do. Mm -hmm. In case we can't find out who the informer is. What about Hugo? Hugo. Tonight I got here, he was saying how good the Spanish treat you. You mean you think that Hugo might be the informer? He's been around a long time. Oh, Mick's been here longer. Of course, with his uh, brother being shot, that would eliminate him. and gunpowder in that little building looks mighty inviting. Two men would seem like a lot more if they could get a hold of a gig of it. 
Do you have an idea how we can get it? Richard. Tomorrow, I have the rock shaping job at the Potter House. He switches around from time to time for precaution. Now that's, that's going to have us working side by side. Seems like an opportunity we ought to use before Hugo finishes walling it in. Yeah. Maybe we can work something out. But if we get caught stealing that powder... I don't like to think about it. Hmm. My mix. Oh, no. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Are you finished? I'm not working here anymore. Billy, oh, no. I'm nobody's slave. Billy. Come on, help me. Don't you stand there. You're afraid to shoot. This is what I think of that spat. This is what I think of the spat. I'm a 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 spat. I'm Risk it in here. We'll recruit them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
To shoot them now. Planning an escape. For tomorrow night. That's a lie. A lie? Please, Fellows. Mira. A lie. Let it be a lesson, senores. We know everything. We hear everything. These two pigs are planning an escape. You will escape. To 50 lashes. Dominos! Pleasant dreams, senores. Senores, a glorious day to work, is it not? A pretty sight, isn't it? Remember it. Now, to work. Move! Pronto, move! Well, I say. What he said? I just heard them rattles. That's all. Just heard them rattles. Just figure out 
how the contact is made. And with what happened today, I think maybe I can find out. Yes. It's better. It's something in my boot. Stitch in time, eh? Keep smiling. So everybody will think we're having a friendly little chat. What? Smile. I got something for you. Friendly warning. It's a nice job. My wife couldn't do much better. The men are going to draw lots tomorrow to see who should kill you. They think you're the informer. Well, you're almost as good as the Philadelphia Taylor. So, Miss Bacharus. Gander's out. You will need your sleep. Tomorrow is going to be a very big day. For work! Get to bed now.
No sé cómo lo averiguaron, pero no puedo regresar, no puedo. No me interesa. Dos riesgos. Debo saber qué es lo que pasa. ¿eh? ¿Eh? Y tú has hecho eso imposible. Arriba. You're Daniel Himson. So the man thinks that he is my informer. I don't think, Captain, they know. But I do not have an informer. You mean we're mistaken? Zeb is innocent? I am a man of honor. It is beneath me to use spies. Are you going to send him back to the tent? Do not play games with me, senor. Do not go too far. Because if you're going to send him back, you better tell him not to pass any more messages under the tent. Sácalo. Déjalo dormir con nosotros. Sácalo. So, the men were going to draw lots to choose one to kill him, huh? and you warned them. That's right. I saved his life. I did him a favor. That is commendable. An act of true mercy. You are like a saint. But uh, why? He's your brother. He's even your good friend. Nothing like that. I have a choice. Either to let you leave or to have you executed. Having you shot means nothing to me. It is like shooting an animal in the forest. Huh? One more or one less is no trouble to me. So, you will... Speak the truth. You understand, huh? I understand. Now, why? Why did you warn him? I figured he was working for you for a reason. A good reason. He ate your food. He slept where you slept. He worked hard like you. But he's Spanish. I found that out. He took the food in conditions because of that. Because he knew your government would reward him for services rendered. You are not stupid, senor. And I want to be rewarded, too. When this job is finished, you can't afford to let these men go to tell how this fort was built. You might take them to New Orleans, lock them up, but more than likely, you'll have them killed. But you, if you worked for me, you cannot afford to talk about anything. But you can let me go. That's my reward. You are clever. I do not trust clever men. And you have a fort to finish, and to do it, you need to know what's going on with the men. Do not twist me around, senor. I merely did you a favor. You, Zeb Brown, myself, did you all a favor. And what will you tell the men if I send you back? I'll tell them the truth. What? Part of it, anyway. They would have been punished, whipped, starved if they'd have killed Zeb Brand. It would have been worse for them. I'll tell them I did it for them, to protect them, that you were grateful for my saving Zeb's life. They'll understand. They're reasonable men. But if they do not believe you, they will kill you. That may be. But if they're punished, whipped, and starved anymore, the work on this fort will suffer, and you won't be finished on time. Now, do I go back or don't I? Yes. 
suppose I have no choice. Yes, and you work for us. You work for Spain. Sargento! Si, mi capitán. Regreso a las paracas de los prisioneros, eh? Está con nosotros ahora. Sácalo. Somebody better talk. I found out who the informer was. Who? Zeb Brand. Zeb? Billy and I caught him putting notes under the tent while you were sleeping. This is the truth. Daniel trapped him. And I got him out of here. Zeb. And you got him out? Well, he's the one that got my brother killed. Well, I'll kill you for that, mister. I'll kill you. Nick, you're not going to kill anybody. That's why I got him out of here, so we could do our job. Now, I've got a barrel of gunpowder hidden right in this tent. Gunpowder? What job? What are you talking about? About destroying this fort. The fort's occupied by Spanish troops from New Orleans before it becomes a Spanish territory forever. Who are you, mister? He's Daniel Boone. From Kentucky? Billy here is from the Virginia militia. Now, neither of us here by accident. We were both sent here to do the same thing, to destroy this fort. Destroy a fort with one keg of gunpowder? We're going to burn the stockade, jump the guards in a panic, and then take over. Now, when the time comes, each man will mix a handful of gunpowder with lard. And when he passes the stockade wall, he'll place his handful against the wall. Once it's ignited, it'll be a fire they can't put out. The store up. Why not blow that up? It's full of gunpowder. While we're all in the fort, blow ourselves up. All right. All right, when do we start? We'll make our plans tonight, after today's work. Now you better get back to your bunks. Mick? I know how you feel about your brother, but I had to get Zeb out of here for the good of everybody. I'll kill him. I swear it. out your sentence, huh? And you, you did not convince them not to kill the brand, huh? Beast! That is all you are, and you will suffer for this. I am the law on this fort. And only I can take it into my own hands. Only I! He was one of us. One of mine, a loyal servant of Spain. Well, senors, I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. Sargento. Si, Capitan. Madeira, you will bring them lumber. They will bury our comrade in arms. They will give him a distinguished funeral. I will make them show him respect. And after you have buried him, there will be a punishment for all of you. For the murderer, 100 lashes. If he survives, he will work till he drops. No food, no sleep, until he dies of exhaustion. 
is for the rest of you, because you must also be punished. You will not stop work at sundown, but you will continue your labors for two hours more each day. And for one week, beginning now, you will all be on short rations. Que se vayan a trabajo. Sí, capitán. Sácalo. Now, pigs, to work. What do we do now? I reckon we'll build a coffin. Bury the informer. You mean do what they want us to? And then let them work us to death? They've huh? just given us a better way. What are you talking about? They've just given us a way to blow up this powder house while we're safe outside the fort. This end has to stay up, and this end of the coffin has to stay down. Now, who's got the candle? Here it is. Better be sure to stay behind us. Right. You know something? <laughs> it seemed like in the end, maybe Zeb do us all a good turn.
tell your men to drop their arms. Bajen las armas! Bajen las armas! What are you going to do now, senor? You will kill us all, I suppose. Daniel, I sure like to accommodate the man. Give me the pleasure. No, we won't kill him for the same reason they didn't kill us. There's a job to be done here. And I think we're all a bit overworked. We're going to dismantle this fort, log by log and stone by stone. That's a wonderful idea. What are we going to do with them when they finish? We're going to let them walk back to New Orleans and tell their superiors there's no fort left. We will be back, senor. In force. By the time you get back to New Orleans, your Spanish ambassador will be writing embarrassed apologies. No, Captain. Spain is finished on this part of the Mississippi. Now, I suggest you start by dismantling this whipping post. Muy rapido. Por favor. Move. 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 